Do you know how to find the area of this composite figure? Don't worry, I'm gonna help you to figure it out. This is Teacher Wade TV and welcome back to our lesson tutorials. Our lesson for today is all about finding the area of a composite figure. To find the area of the composite figures, you need to remember the formulas on how to find the area of the plane figures. For a circle, area is equal to pi r squared. For a square, area is equal to s squared. For a rectangle, area is equal to length times width. And for a triangle, area is equal to base times height divided by 2. Now, let us have some examples. Find the area of this composite figure. Use 3.14 as the constant value of pi. To find the area of this composite figure, you need to identify first the shapes that compose the figure. In this figure, we have two shapes, which are the half of a circle and a square. Now, let us separate these shapes with their corresponding formula. For our shape A, we have the square with the measurement of sides of 4 cm. For shape B, we have the half of a circle with the diameter of 4 cm. Since its diameter is one of the sides of the square, we have 4 cm as its diameter. This time, let us find the area of our shape A, the square. The formula for square is area equals S squared or side raised to the power of 2. Now, let us substitute 4 cm as the value of its sides. So, a equals 4 cm raised to the power of 2, or 4 cm squared. Since we are required to find the square of 4 cm, we have to multiply 4 cm by itself. So, we have area equals 4 cm times 4 cm, which is equal to 16 centimeters squared. Therefore, the area for our shape A is equal to 16 centimeter squared. Now, let us move on to shape B, the half circle. For half circle, we can use the formula of a circle, which is area equals pi r squared. Since we only have half of a circle, we have to divide pi r squared by 2. So, our formula will become area equals pi r squared divided by 2. Now, let us substitute the value of pi, which is 3.14. Since the half circle has a diameter of 4 cm, and the radius is half of its diameter, we can have 2 cm as the value of our radius. So, our area is equal to 3.14 times 2 cm squared divided by 2. 3.14 times the squared of 2 cm, which is 4 cm squared divided by 2. 3.14 times 4 cm squared is equal to 12.56 cm squared divided by 2. 12.56 cm squared divided by 2 equals 6.28 cm squared. Thus, the area of our shape B must be 6.28 cm squared.
Now, to find the area of this composite figure, we just have to add the area of the two shapes. For shape A, the area is equal to 16 centimeters squared plus the area of shape B, which is 6.28 centimeters squared. 16 centimeters squared plus 6.28 centimeters squared is equal to 22.28 centimeters squared. Therefore, the area of this composite figure must be 22.28 centimeters squared. Now, let us have our second example. Find the area of the shaded region in this composite figure. Use 3.14 for the constant value of our pi. As you can see, we also have two shapes in this figure. We see a circle and a triangle. Now, let us separate these shapes with their corresponding formula. Shape A is a triangle with A equals base times height divided by 2 as its formula. Shape B is the circle with A equals pi r squared as its formula. Let us start with A. Area equals base times height divided by 2 where B is equal to 16 centimeters and H which is equal to 14 centimeters. Now, let us substitute the value in our formula. Area equals 16 centimeter times 14 centimeter divided by 2. 16 centimeter times 14 centimeter is equal to 224 centimeter squared divided by 2. 224 centimeter squared divided by 2 is equal to 112 centimeter squared. So, the area of our triangle is equal to 112 centimeter squared. For shape B, area is equal to pi r squared, where pi is equal to 3.14 and our radius is equal to 5 centimeter. For our formula, area is equal to 3.14 times 5 centimeter raised to the power of 2. 3.14 times 5 centimeter times 5 centimeter. 3.14 times 25 centimeter squared. Therefore, the area of our circle is 78.5 centimeter squared. Now, to find the area of the shaded part, let us subtract shape B from shape A. So, area of our shaded part is equal to shape A minus shape B. Now, let us substitute the value for the area of our shape A and shape B. So, area of our shaded region is equal to 112 centimeters squared minus 78.5 centimeters squared. Therefore, the area of our shaded region must be 33.5 centimeters squared. Alright, now this time, I want you to try this example. I want you to find the area of the shaded region by your own. Now, let us check your work. In the figure, we have 
two shapes of rectangles. So, our formula must be area equals length times width. Step 1. Area of rectangle A. The length of our rectangle A is equal to 12 centimeters. The width of our rectangle A is equal to 7 centimeters. Since we are required to find the area of the rectangle, we will use area equals length times width as its formula. So area equals 12 centimeters times 7 centimeters is equal to 84 centimeter squared. So the area of our rectangle A is equal to 84 centimeter squared. Step 2. Area of rectangle B. The length of our rectangle B is equal to 6 centimeters. The width of our rectangle B is equal to 4 centimeters. So area equals 6 centimeters times 4 centimeters equals 24 centimeters squared. So the area of our rectangle B is equal to 24 centimeter squared. To find the area of the shaded region in this figure, we have to subtract the area of the smaller rectangle from the area of the bigger rectangle. To find the area of the shaded region in this figure, our formula must be area of the shaded region equals area of bigger rectangle minus area of smaller rectangle. The area of our bigger rectangle is equal to 84 centimeters squared minus the area of our smaller rectangle which is 24 centimeters squared. So 84 minus 24 is equal to 60 centimeter squared. Therefore, the area of our shaded region in this figure is equal to 60 centimeter squared. If you feel satisfied in this video, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you will be updated on my next video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.